It's Amanda, and I want to come to you briefly on a topic on today, and that topic is God won't ever shortchange you. Give bountifully. Now, I like to say I stand on the Psalms, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I don't get on these scopes because I have it all together. I get on here because God is continually perfecting me. And he said they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So this message is not for everybody, but it's definitely for somebody. I just want to briefly encourage my network and give a simple message. I'm not here to counsel you. Um, God admonishes us. Don't forsake the assembly of yourself with other believers. You can give bountifully. There are universal kingdom principles that you can implement that will work for anybody that does not discriminate. It works across all boards and borders. And there's nothing that qualifies me to get on here and say this, but I want to encourage my dear friend on the other line who may feel like they've been shortchanged. Don't think that it's coming from God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said in his word, as long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest. Hallelujah. That's why I entitled this message today. God won't ever shortchange you. Give bountifully. He says, if you sow sparingly, you'll reap sparingly. But if you give bountifully, you will reap bountifully. The sower soweth the word. Hallelujah. So it's not always about, you know, financial things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Even though God said where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Praise God. And a lot of times people's treasure is wrapped up in their wealth. Hallelujah. Praise God. We don't idolize material things. He said the love of money is the root of all evil. But on the flip side, he said money answer of all things. Praise God. God is a God of plenty, of more than enough, of abundance. He shot a bakuya. God is not a God. Hallelujah. Of lack. He's not a God of poverty. He said he has given us the power to get wealth. Hallelujah. So knowing this, we can give bountifully. He shut up a kuyata. He shut up a mantabra. What do you want your harvest to look like? Hallelujah. Take a look at your seed. It's really that simple. He shut up a mantabra bakuta because God won't ever shortchange you. He's no respecter of a person. He shut up a kuya. God knows the very number of hairs on our head. He shut up a kuyata. He has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. They shall bear us up in their hands. Thus we dash our foot against the stone. Do you know that the God of heaven is keeping accurate records of your giving? Therefore, you shall reap my shot of a seat them. See, the problem comes, hallelujah, when we don't place a demand, hallelujah, on that harvest. He said, wherefore, by their fruits, you'll know them. He should have a seat them. We have an adversary, folks, and that adversary is the enemy, the devil that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came to give us life and give us life more abundantly. <laughs> Praise God. He shot up out. You pumping your gas, hallelujah. He shot up rabakuta, and you keep that pumper in there, it's going to be charging you up. Hallelujah. He shut up a sita. If you give back Bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. That gas tank going to keep on filling up and filling up and filling up. Praise God. He shut up a coup. Rabasi Toro. Manta investors understand, hallelujah, the importance. Praise God of putting back into their corporation of giving whatsoever good any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord. So when we give, we give as unto the Lord and not as unto men. God won't ever shortchange you. He shut up my manta rabasita. I don't know about you, my dear friend, but that sounds like good news to me. He shut up my manta bra that I can give bountifully, knowing that the God of heaven, hallelujah, creator of the heavens and the earth, hallelujah, is watching over his word to perform it. He said his word is forever settled in heaven. He won't do wickedly. He won't pervert judgment. Hallelujah. So I, I kind of hear you through the screen, my dear friend. Why has my harvest been slow? Hallelujah. Do you understand? that there's a process by which we've got to go through in this life, in this faith walk. Hallelujah. The enemy, hallelujah, he shut up a coup, even though he has no power, hallelujah, will, will sometimes produce, hallelujah, this type of oppression, hallelujah, over finances. He shut up a coup and wealth and you get into your promised land. Hallelujah, because the enemy is basically an eavesdropper. Hallelujah. You've got to learn how to guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. Know this, God won't ever shortchange you.
So it takes a mind transformation. For as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. You've got to settle the issue in your mind. Hallelujah. Each shut up a seat. Despite circumstances that come your way. Hallelujah. Despite the economy. You got to know that as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to believe God's word. Whose report will you believe? Oh, ye of little faith. You got to understand. Praise God, hallelujah, that there's nothing about your life that surprises God. God won't ever short change you. He shut up a cool for the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's a mindset. Sometimes faulty thinking leads to faulty believing leads to faulty. Hallelujah results. He shut him on time. He said he gives seed to the sower and he gives bread to the eater. It's really that simple. Hallelujah. He shut up a car. God is faithful to the thousand generation. My dear friend, you're not broke. Hallelujah. You just got to change your mindset. Hallelujah. You've got to make declarations like I'll never be broke another day in my life hallelujah and neither will anybody connected to me in the name of the lord jesus how do we know this he shut up a cool because you're never gonna run out of seed hallelujah he shut up i heard a teacher say it like this if you have a, a need sow a seed he shut up see a lot of times people are looking for somebody to give something to them hallelujah you've got to look at what god placed in your hand and say lord where is the seed that you've given me to sow is it a talent hallelujah he shut up a seed is a special gift. Hallelujah. Maybe you're good with your hands. You like to create and craft things. He shut up a seed. You may have entrepreneurial ideas. Hallelujah. Look at the areas that God has equipped you. He shut up a seed for he said a man's gift will make room for him and bring him before great men. Stop letting the devil steal from you. Hallelujah. He shut up. It's not too late for God to manifest. Hallelujah. That God given talent and gift and desire. He shut up a seed. You got to make it up in your mind that you're going to move beyond just surviving and begin to thrive. God won't ever shortchange you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So give bountifully and give us unto the Lord, not as unto men. He shut up. We've got to give God the first fruits of our praise. Hallelujah. Of our affections. He said, when you pray in secret, he'll reward you openly. That's a way to give. Hallelujah. Cry out to God. Hallelujah. And watch him perform all things for you. Hallelujah. See, Men look at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Hallelujah. That's why you got to try the spirit by the spirit. You don't know who God may use to bless you. He shut up a coop top, because sometimes it's just a little bumps in the road. Hallelujah. Praise God. He shut up a seat. Give God time to work. Hallelujah. You've got to increase the temperature of your faith. Hallelujah. So you can open up your expectation and say, you know what? God won't ever shortchange me. Hallelujah. I'm not doing this for the approval of men. I'm doing this to the glory of God. Do you know? Hallelujah. The outpouring, the showering of blessings that God will just saturate you with. Knowing, hallelujah, that you want to give, you want to be blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. He will give you a money assignment. He shut up a cool time. Here you have somebody who wants to be a philanthropist. Hallelujah. Somebody that wants to be a money missionary, willing to give, willing to be a distributor of goodness. He shut up a car. That's the one that God's going to bless. Hallelujah. What are you doing with the little you have? Because if you're faithful over little, God will make you a ruler over much. Oh, praise God. That is good news on today. God is not the one shortchanging you, my dear friend. What are your thoughts? Hallelujah. What are the things that you're entertaining in your consciousness, within your spirit? What is your paradigm? What is your belief system based upon? Hallelujah. Is it based upon what other people are talking about? Well, you know, child, hallelujah, the economy ain't looking good. He shut up a cool. Oh, you know, you ain't got, you ain't never got no money. Don't receive those things over your life. Hallelujah. Learn how to call things that be not as though they were and declare your restitution is coming. For God said in Joel 2, he will restore the years the canker worm and locusts have consumed. He sent a great army. He said, you'll eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And he said, my people shall never be ashamed. Hallelujah. Shame does not accompany the blessing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's say that again. Hallelujah. Because you're getting shortchanged if it's evil strings attached. Do you know? Hallelujah. God is not going to shortchange you with shame. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord, make it rich and addeth no sorrow with it. Now, it does not mean that you won't be diligent. You might, hallelujah, break a sweat. Hallelujah. For he says the hand of the diligent make it rich. Hallelujah. It takes preparation. It takes faithfulness, persistence, and consistency. But God will not shortchange you. Hallelujah. Praise God. You got to take a second look. Hallelujah. And say, okay, Lord, what am I not looking at? What am I not seeing here? Ask him for discernment and he'll give you it.
Hallelujah. God will give you the discernment. Hallelujah. That you need. Give unto the Lord. Give bountifully. Reap bountifully and say, God won't ever shortchange me. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord of the harvest send laborers into his harvest. For the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers have been few. Don't look for man. Hallelujah. To be your all in all. In Jeremiah 17, 7, it states, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is. People may look at you and say, No, they didn't struggle hard enough. He shut up because I pulled my weight and they're going to have to pull their weight. Hallelujah. It's an uppity type of thinking. Oh, they got a sense of entitlement. Hallelujah, because you have a scroll, hallelujah, that everybody doesn't have access to. He should have received it, but the God of heaven that knew you before, before you was formed, hallelujah, he shut up a coup. That's the one that's bringing you your harvest. Understand and believe that. You'll be disappointed if you're waiting for man to give you a deal, to give you your recognition. Promotion does not come from the north, south, east, or the west. Promotion comes from the Lord. He's the Lord, the God of heaven, the one that sets up one and puts down another. Hallelujah. Who is your expectation coming from my dear friend hallelujah i'm gonna leave you with that praise god know that god won't ever shortchange you so you can start having fun giving hallelujah god what can i give now he shut up a kuyata sometimes it's a sacrifice of praise hallelujah singing a song unto the lord sometimes it's a simple phone call to a loved one hallelujah saying baby it's gonna be okay he shut up a ka rabba sitrosia so we don't want to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to for god said in james 4 10 humble yourself in the sight of the lord and he'll lift you up but don't cast away your confidence it has a great recommendation of reward. Remember this, my dear friend. God won't ever shortchange you. Give bountifully, receive bountifully. He's fighting your battles. Hallelujah. Get ready to receive. Well, until next time, my dear friend, Shalom.